broadcast. If you would like to hear the broadcast in Spanish, click over to the simulcast on Fox Deportes. And they've been doing this their whole career, and uh, it's a very confusing style. Now, if you can stop, if Figueroa can stop uh, uh, Yonfres, he's... Because Brandon really came at him, and he's coming aggressive. He wants to test him out. Yeah, he's lighter than the 22 to pound division we're talking about here. barrio has got a good right hand. I watched that. I watched he'll double and triple up on both sides, either hand. Oh, good right hand by Parejo right there. Locking his arms up so he can't get those short shots off. Not all the time, but every so often. To... Bring your up, Brandon. Bring your up. 15 seconds remaining in round one here in Carson, California. Scheduled for a very good complete fighter. You know, he's no no pushover. He's beaten a lot of good guys. He's similar to his older brother, Omar. Oh, it's, it's identical. Brandon, 22 years of age. This is 19th pro bout. Body shot there by Figueroa. And right there, he got countered by a nice little left uppercut. I mean, that's a normal thing, natural thing to do. The wisest thing to do. Any 40 seconds remaining in round two. Sched oh, great. right by Parejo. Great counter right hand by Parejo. He stepped back off the ropes. Of round two. A little behind the head. Sometimes it's accidental. Yeah, sometimes the guy could be leaning forward and you don't mean it. Exactly. Great body attack he has. Let's see if it can work for him. Woo. Look at that. Threw it over uh, Figueroa and just landed a nice little body shot, but Figueroa comes back with his own up. Missing with that right was Parejo. Both guys missed with their punches with that. 22-year-old Brandon Figueroa from Westlaco, Texas. And 32-year-old Yonfres Parejo born. Thank you very much, Kenny. What have you told him? Keep his distance. He's got the longer reach when he. Brandon's father and trainer. Parejo needs to be doing a little. Three, Gary Cantu. A look at the punches landed. Shots are like bank investments. I asked him why. He said, because they always pay dividends later. <laughs> and, and it's true. They pay. Oh, great left up. Probably, I probably have it even right now to tell you the truth it looks pretty darn close back in on the uh, the last 40 seconds here and score something big he's gonna win this round needs I think he's his corner told him the wrong thing to do you know to put his head down inside I agree is already and he, he's so nothing back well he's not left wrong and he's muscling him against the ropes right now you're allowed to do that final minute round six Figueroa has landed 175 punches and again so he needs to throw it a lot more well look, look what's happening though Figueroa has gotten in his way even though it was a nice little agree with that very much so with Marcos I, I think that's an accurate assessment punches by round 142 punches thrown by Figueroa. And Somebody must have told Pereiro stay stay away from the ropes because every time he gets close to the, put his back against the ropes whatsoever. Here he goes. This is where he steps. Parejo has landed nearly twice as many punches as Parejo over the first seven rounds. Figure, oh, well, go ahead, man. Yeah, no, I'm you saying, Guerrero was staying, staying oh. off the ropes, but... I'm going to stop coming at you. So, you know, what you've got to do is you have to have something that hurts the kid. And if you can know that he's coming, when he throws that punch, come with that right hand that you know you throw so well and try... He tries to take it to a decision because he's not a guy that can really stop you. And when you've got a guy like... It's over. The trainer tried to get uh, Parejo to go one more round. He, and that's what I was saying in the last round. The heartbreaker, Brendan Figueroa.